All right, so. What we're doing here, guys, is a, uh, I, I wanted to commentate this. This is a video that I took while I was over at Blizzard. Um, when I was over, I, I guess whenever I was over in Irvine doing the, the Media Summit thing, we got to, like, play test the game and record some stuff. They actually let us do stuff at level 40. And uh, they didn't give me any gear to play Rhett. I wasn't going to tank, but they didn't give me a two-handed weapon, so... Go figure. Uh, yeah, so that's what uh, that, that's what happened. And you know what's funny? Actually, Paladins didn't even have holy gear. They had, like, tanking gear for some reason. So, uh, yeah, what I did was I, I went ahead and just spec Pro, and I went with Holy Shield. Uh, I, I think typically... Like, if I was tanking at level 40, I would probably get Consecration, but I specifically just wanted to use Holy Shield and, uh, play around with, like, Reckoning and stuff. Um, as it turns out, Reckoning was actually broken. Reckoning was actually broken. So, yeah, there, there was that. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't working right. Now, it's not going to, it'll matter a little bit, right, because at level 30, let me turn this down just a little bit. <clears throat> At level 30, uh, you're going to be able to get one point in Reckoning at max level in the demo. Uh, I am i don't know for sure, but I think the fact that we could play at level 40 and the, the fact that we could play it in-house level 40, I think shows to, um, or kind of goes to show that they're, they're willing to, uh, they might be willing to extend it, possibly, right? They extended the classic demo after BlizzCon. Not generous. Maybe, yeah, it's very generous of them, actually, yeah. So, maybe maybe they would do the same and extend it to 40, and that way we could test 31 point talents as well. So, yeah. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, also, I'm doing this live. I was going to do this offline, but right now we're waiting for the beta to go live. So, uh, I'm, I'm on stream. Twitch.tv slash SFANTV if you, if you guys want to watch my streams. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just doing this live on stream because why not, right? We're just waiting for the beta to go live anyway, so we might as well actually have some beta footage to show. <coughs> So, um, what we decided to do, it's funny actually, because we weren't really thinking, I mean, there's always things that we were thinking about, we were talking in real life, so Stacy was sitting to my left, and, uh, we don't have the key, we wanted to do armory, but we didn't have the key, right? Uh, we wanted to do SM armory, we didn't have the key, so we went to do library for us to go get the key. Now, what's funny is, we could have actually killed ourselves, right? We could have killed ourselves, and we could have just ran through the gate. And uh, just respawn on the other side. We just died to these guys and not needed a key at all. But we were just like, whatever, let's just do that. Word. It's funny. So, is it too loud? Sorry, let me turn it down a little bit. Is that better? Oh, my bad. Okay. My, my headset was turned down. That's what was so loud. My bad, sorry. I wasn't looking at chat because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking more about the video. My bad. Okay, so there's us. We're there with Quissy. Quissy was there. Revamp, that was the IGN guy. IGN guy was in our group. <clears throat> uh, James, I think was his name. Still too loud, really? What the heck? How, 15 volume? Nine volume, nice. Okay. I need to get so yeah, we decided just to go after this. And, and prop paladins aren't... Uh, Prop Paladins aren't necessarily the best tanks in the world, right? Um, they, like, one of the things that kind of hurts them is that they don't have a taunt. I, I would say that's not even their biggest issue in the end game, but uh, they don't have a taunt. And I'm here, like, literally, I'm literally, like, setting up my hot bars, like, while we open this up. So, this was very spur of the moment. I actually re-rolled. I deleted and re-rolled my character. There's a few things that Blizzard I wish would have done with this uh, in-house demo that really would have made things a little bit easier for us in terms of, like, uh, they only gave us, like, five gold, right? It's like, why not just give us, like, 100 gold or something so we can respec a bunch of times uh they didn't really give us any like gear vendors i wish we would have had vendors to to pick gear up from so we could like at least play different specs but this is just what it was so as you can see this is obviously going very very well um prop pal and tang at its finest uh everybody's attacking somebody else very good no it, it, it gets a little bit better i'm like putting stuff on my hot bars and, and all that but uh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, yeah, these guys are going to go, they, they run away, we can't chase them. Uh, the reason why I put Seal of Justice on my hotbar in the middle there, like I went and put Seal of Justice on my hotbar over on the right side, right here, was because of, um, in case I, I, I would have to judge Seal of Justice on somebody to keep them from running. 
Seal of Justice is something that's it's not used that often in vanilla. In Burning Crusade, it capped your speed at 100%, which was pretty useful. But uh, in vanilla, what it does is it prevents enemies like uh, like like mobs from running away from you in fear, right? So usually, what happens, or not usually, but sometimes, whenever you get a mob to like you know 10%, or whenever you get them like low health, they they run away. Uh, but Seal of Justice prevents them from running away. It's not it's not super useful in vanilla, but sometimes it's used. So what was interesting there? I just I SP sat and I had a readout proc. I saw you say fuck instead of frick twice in party chat in this gameplay footage. What do you have to say for yourself? Did you abandon your principles when Blizzard forced you to play prop paladin? Unbelievable. What? Actually, I'm gonna mute alerts because I don't want alert. I don't. I don't want alerts going for. Uh... Thank you for the five dollars, though. I'm gonna mute alerts for this. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so as a paladin, you see that I, I, I am gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to tank, or I'm gonna have to drink this. So I sit, right here I sat. The reason why I sat there is because earlier I sat to test it and I saw readout was procking whenever I was getting crit. But I think it was just happenstance. I think it was just a coincidence. Because it happened twice in a row and I was like, wait, what the hell? That's not right. So I did it again. Sitting, not procking, crit reactive procs as, ex as expected, but I'm still getting crit, yeah. I wrote ass expected, my bad. So, well, you can sit to get crit, but it doesn't proc crit reactive procs. I've been talking about this for months, and like, people act like, yeah, I don't know. But I've been talking about this stuff for months. So yeah, see, it picks up a little bit here. It's running away, right? That's that's like a seal of justice situation. Now, I'm not, I, I'm not really gonna do it unless you're in a tight spot where they're gonna run and they're gonna get aggro from more mobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually I'm playing this is, this is all live gameplay So you can see the tanky gets a little bit better now I ideally I would have picked up consecration probably at level 40 or by level 40 But I wanted holy shield just for the sake of going down that path <clears throat> No, my helmet was like some random green helmet. I don't remember what it was. Reckful said he's not gonna play classic. Yeah, yeah. I, I talked to him about it. He, he said he's not really interested. It's funny. So, um, I troll. Okay, I troll a lot in this video. Like. I troll a lot in general, you guys know that, but like, especially in this video, I troll a lot because of, uh, you know, it's just a funny video, I'm just gonna do stupid meme things. In my, in my video that I posted on my YouTube channel earlier, there's people in the comments like, this guy is a toxic player, he's ninja looting stuff, and I'm like, dude, relax. It's a one day beta where we're not gonna keep our characters or anything, obviously I'm not, like, Dude, these people are so unbelievably triggered by like this, like the dumbest little things. Like, no, I'm not gonna ninja loot something for real. Like, it, it was just like a troll. Like, is reckoning triggered by sick crits? No, it's not. That's that's what I was talking about before. I've said this for months. Like, I don't know. People act like, I don't know. The information's there. You just gotta, you just gotta watch, right? <clears throat> Is this classic? Yeah, yeah, this is classic. This is classic footage that we recorded in-house. What's up, Cheese Weasel? Thank you for the eight months. So look at that, dude. Tanking multiple mobs. Look at that high-octane gameplay. Look at that, dude. Actually good. What is up with the FPS? Nothing. When was this recorded? This was recorded a week ago uh, over at Blizzard in, uh, in Irvine. It wasn't actually at Blizzard. It was at a venue. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What's so amazing about running SM? Uh, it was just a dungeon that we wanted to run. SM library is a little bit lower level than level 40. Like, we wanted to run Armory or Cathedral, but uh, we didn't have the key and we were just like, whatever. Now, we could, like I said earlier, we could have just like killed ourselves and ran through the gate, but we were just like, let's just do library. 
<clears throat> Put your hands down and pretend you're playing the beta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Prop Pal is actually good in dungeons. Yeah, no, Prop Paladin is fine in dungeons. Even while leveling, like, you can tank stuff as Prot. Um... Oh, yeah, I wasn't even blessing him because I was like, F that. But no, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> I didn't have everything keybound. So I normally have a lot more keybinds if I have my own mouse. I brought my, I brought my, uh, I brought my mouse over to, uh, over to the thing, but I had to install the software on it to get it to work and they didn't have internet access. Such a clickbait title. What is clickbait about this? That's actually what's happening. <clears throat> this is this is level 40 classic gameplay footage that uh, that I recorded last week. Yeah, I, I think no internet, so like I, I don't know why. I think they just didn't set it up. I, I don't think they thought people were gonna like stream or leak stuff or anything. I mean, may, may, I mean maybe to prevent leaks, I don't know. But uh, I think they probably just didn't set it up. So yeah, I, I didn't have everything keybound like I wanted to. Uh, so on my numpad, I just put like some target markers just so I could like tell people what to do. And we're not typing a lot in chat. The reason why we're not typing a lot in chat is because most of us were just like sitting together. Kusi was on the other table next to us. I was next to Stay Safe and Revamp. And Pr Prunhilda was, uh, it's Pasta. She was with Kusi too. Yeah, this is me trolling. So what I was going to do is... Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back. I remember what I did here. So what happened here? Stay safe. We weren't going to pull this group, okay? We were not going to pull this group. And then Stay Safe was like, hey, we should go, you know, conveniently go pull this group. And I knew he was talking about the chest, right? So this is what I was going to do. I was like, okay, let's go pull the group. So I just ran in there like an idiot. And what I was trying to do was run in there, get aggro, bubble, and see if I could loot the chest. See if I could test this to see if you can loot while bubbled, or loot a chest while bubbled, interact with the object while bubbled, and you can't. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's specifically what I wanted to test there. It didn't work. It doesn't work in combat. If you're in combat, you can't open chests. That's what, that's what the error message says. <laughs> Wasted both of the chest, yeah. So you can't do that while in combat. That's what I wanted to show. <clears throat> Why aren't you using Consecration? I, I just it's wanted locked. Holy Shield, it's but I, I would get Consecration it's normally. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> it's locked. So people should know if they got into the beta by now? I don't think so. Or maybe, it, it didn't show up for me last time I checked. Isn't that just not locked on private servers? I don't know, it might not be. When is the beta? It's today, but I, I don't have a time, unfortunately. <clears throat> So the, the diviner is mana burning. Do you hear that mana burn sound effect? <clears throat> so I'm just trying to, I'm like tab targeting between the two to try and generate, like, I'm trying to build aggro on two targets at the same time because I should have just let her go because she was running away. So the reason why I was trying to like constantly tab target between the two is because I'm trying to generate threat on both targets. Um, just trying to generate threat on both targets while, uh, while not having a taunt. It kind of makes it rough, right? Because normally, if, oh, I lost aggro, boom, I can snap back and taunt. But uh, as a prop paladin, I don't have a taunt, so that's why I was just constantly like trying to get both of them to attack me. If both of them are attacking me and they're melee, not casters, those guys were casters, but if both of them are attacking me and they're melee and I block, then Holy Shield is going to do return damage to them. I have Blessing of Sanctuary on, 
Blessing of Wisdom is is arguably better, but uh, like I wanted Sanctuary, Sanctuary and Holy Shield. Whenever they block or whenever they attack me and I block, then I do holy damage back to them. I have Righteous Fury on. Righteous Fury, I generate more threat, and then yeah, that's how I keep back, bro. So. So, also another thing is, I specifically wanted to go and get Holy Shield. One of the reasons is because this is level 40 testing, and there's not going to be level 40 testing as far as we know. I mean, I'm assuming that they would be open to it, but as far as we know, it's not going to be level 40. It's going to be level 30 in the beta. So I really wanted to go to level 40 while I was there, and I wanted to get Reckoning and stuff like that too. So... <clears throat> but but realistically, consecration is probably better. So yeah, this is what I'm doing. Like, I, I tap both of them. Now stay safe. Put dots on both of them. Quissy put a shadow of pain up. But I was I was attacking both of them, so they get them both to attack me between Ret Aura, Holy Shield, uh, Blessing of Sanctuary. Uh, I'm doing a lot of return damage and generating threat on them. Are you playing Beta Vanilla right now? No, this is this was recorded last week. Whenever I was at Blizzard, whenever I was in Irvine. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing a live commentary. I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel. This is something I was going to do off stream, but I figured, hey, we're waiting for the beta anyway. Let's just do it now and get Twitch chat involved. Um, yeah, it's going to make fun of my gameplay. And uh, yeah, I'll just talk about basically running SM library. But yeah, this is this is actually world first. Like, nobody's seen this. This is never before seen footage of the classic beta. I mean, level 40, um, level 40 gameplay. And this is not what you're going to see. Dude, I don't, remember, I don't even remember who aggroed this. So yeah, you have Chaplain healing, the Diviner is in the back, mana burning people. <clears throat> so I'm running around and I'm trying to just get aggro on as many people as possible. Quissy ends up running out of mana here, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, Quissy ends up running out of mana here, if I remember correctly. But no, look, I came in to save the day, dude. Boom, boom, boom. Put freedom on myself to prevent Blizzard from, uh, from slowing me down so I can still run around. <sighs> Revamp is out of mana. Quissy is out of mana. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to my spell book and I pulled out rank one seal of righteousness just so I could do some holy damage and generate a little bit of extra threat in that way. So I just pulled out rank one, even though it does like no damage. But because I do bonus threat generation from holy damage, I, it's it's better than nothing. Look at that, dude. Stay safe tried to steal those from me. He rolled need, but I won them, of course, because rep prior, you know. Mega clicker. Yeah, true. I had to click it out of my spell book. <laughs> Just type the command, yeah. Slash cast seal of righteousness rank one. Yep. Hey, rep prio, baby. Rep prio. Prop prio. So no, this was last week. This was this is from last week. Um so yeah, let's do another pull here. Click. So I attacked him with righteousness and then I turned and I hit the monk with with one judgment of righteousness So the reason why I'm attacking the diviner the reason why I'm attacking the diviner And I hit the monk with a judgment of righteousness once and then didn't worry about attacking him anymore is because I know That he was he's dual wielding fists, right? So he was gonna do a lot of damage to me and with my holy shield I was gonna generate a lot of threat on him naturally uh, that's why I only did one judgment on him, and then I started to focus my, my attacks on the caster. That way I could generate threat on the caster actively while passively generating threat on the guy dual wield, doing faster attacks. Also, uh, yeah, so Blessing of Protection does keep people from picking up chests. That's why I have Blessing of Protection, stay safe, and then I took the chest for myself. Yep. Yeah, I mean, look, this is Retribution Paladins. We just do as God wills it, okay? This is what you gotta understand. We're a paladin. It is our God-given right to take all the loot for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody in the YouTube comments, This is a toxic player! How dare he take that jade from Stay Safe TV! Like, unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. Yeah, so, oh yeah, so then Stay Safe started fearing mobs, so they run into the other room and pull aggro on more mobs. <laughs> Which, that's what happens here.
Where do you get Skull Flame Shield in Classic? It's a world drop. It can drop, if you want to farm, a, a decent place to farm for Skull Flame Shield is actually northwest of Light's Hope Chapel. There's like an area with undead. I forgot what the place is actually called, but it's like a plague, plague, nax, like scourge area. You can kill mobs there and, and they have a decent chance. That's a decent place to uh, farm for Skull Flame Shield. I've had it drop there a couple times actually. Yeah. <clears throat> Will we still need to install the beta client midnight launch? Yeah, I don't know. We will still need to install the beta client. So once once it's available, we'll have to install it. How do you not play with nameplates on? Uh, I I prefer to play with nameplates on. Yes, but uh, you can see in my other videos I have nameplates on the whole time. Damage looks undertuned. No, I didn't think so. I, I thought the damage felt fine. So, the reason why I didn't actually get up and, and help them here, I wanted to drink one, but I knew they were going to be just fine because they could just CC one of them and kill the other one. <laughs> so. Is this beta? Yeah, this is the beta. This was the this was the internal beta from a week ago. And then I kill stole, of course. Right, Proyo. How do you feel about Flat Earth? What is that? Is that a band? Privilege tanks, true. So the reason why this time I I, I was gonna hit one and the uh, judge one and then attack the other. So same thing as earlier with the monks, they all started attacking this one. So I was like, okay, I need to active gen actively generate threat on this guy. What's the latest on the beta delay? I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, we're just waiting. So yeah, this time, uh, James revamp said like, let's do a bigger pull just to see if we can hold aggro on a bunch of mobs. And I said, yeah, okay, let's try it. Let's just go for it. So I actually had to lay on hands myself there. Uh, I opened up my bags. You saw me open up my bags and, and poke around. That's because I wanted to see if I had a mana potion. So um, I did not. I had a health potion. Only. Which I was saving, I guess. Like I wanted to lay on hands and then if I needed a health potion, I would health potion. I thought the health potion was not, would not be enough. That's why I didn't use the health potion. So stay safe is dead. And I'm teabagging him. <laughs> I couldn't help myself, okay? I know revamp <coughs> revamp is over there. Yeah, he's uh he's taking a beating, but uh this was more important to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so bubble bandage. I saw Quissy Quissy was low on mana, so I was like, okay, I'll bubble bandage, she can heal other people for a second. I put wisdom on myself. So yeah. So of course, if I had yes, exactly. If I had consecrate, Tommy Gachi, if I if I had consecrate, then that that's better for for being able to hold aggro in an area. But um, again, like I said, because this level forty beta was only one day internal, I wanted to go get uh, holy shield because of that. Oh yeah, I actually did cast redemption, didn't I? Did I just cast redemption? <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess, yeah, I guess I did do that at some point. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So now we're, we're here at the final boss. Aggro range seems small in private servers. There's a lot of weird stuff with aggro on private servers. Like, uh... 
like 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 player recognition stuff like I, I don't know like there's I didn't think aggro range was smaller but you maybe in terms of these mysteries. <laughs> uh, in terms of like aggroing around corners and stuff I, I was sitting next to stay safe so I knew he wasn't AFK but I, I was just doing that to troll him Any of your beta streamer friends play mage? Uh, most of my streamer friends are betas. But, uh... I don't know who's playing mage in the beta. You can- you can avoid that with LOS. <clears throat> I just didn't. <laughs> well, not bad. I was trying to- I was trying to show, like... Basically, like, this is something that you could avoid with LOS, and I saw that they ran out, and then for the sake of the video, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna stay in, and if somebody doesn't run out all the way, they get hit by it, but they didn't get hit by it because they ran out and around the corner. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the world's first prop paladin, WoW Classic beta footage, level 40, SM library. So, of course, you know, I, I thought, look, I was very deserving because I was the tank. I thought it was important for me to, uh, Take that gear. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was mine. Mm -hmm. There you go. I can't lose that right now. Uh, Tiz was saying you didn't like how Paladins were in the demo you guys played recently because a lot of things you do in prize you can't do in classic. I didn't say that. Yeah, I didn't say that. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you guys should go check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash svantv. I'm going to be playing the classic beta pretty much all the time. Uh, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash svantv. Discord.gg slash svantv. Instagram, svantv. And again, my Twitch is svantv. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, and also shop.svantv if you guys want to make Azeroth great again. Also S-Fan shirts and maybe some more stuff coming soon. Thank you guys so much and uh, see you guys next time.